Hello everyone and welcome back. A little bit after 10 o'clock at night. Melissa and I are just about to go to bed but we are under a winter weather warning. Tomorrow there's a snowstorm coming in. If I look at my phone they're saying like three to four inches but when I watch the local news up here six to ten. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Good morning everybody. I started the stove up here, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half ago. I've got the Christmas tree, uh, everything taken off of that and later on I got a vacuum the floor that was a real tree so there's uh, needles and stuff but I wanted to get that out. That storm sounds like it might be going to be kind of a dud. It's kind of went south and my dad said now, I talked to him this morning, that uh, six, eight, six to eight inches are supposed to come tonight for them and two inches today, but it's, it's raining kind of icy right now. So the roads are horrible. Here it's not really gonna hit until this afternoon. So I'm trying to get a few things done. I wanna pull the battery out of George's old four-wheeler. I want to, I think I'm gonna go in and switch that out and get a new one like I did the other four-wheeler. And, uh, and then grab my 30 pound propane tank and go get that filled up in case I want to go ice fishing. I have that ready. It's not really cold enough to run the, the wood stove in there. So I think I'll just get, um, use my propane one when I do go. And I'm trying to get this all done in a hurry because Melissa, I think I'm going to go to Buffalo Wild Wings and get wings and then go to her work. Just make the whole loop around and then do lunch and then come back up here to the farmhouse. I'm not sure if I can get this battery out without removing the rack or not, but uh, they really do put them in these things pretty tight. Well, I got the battery taken out, so now I have to find that 30 pound gas cylinder, throw this in my truck, start my truck, jump in the shower. <laughs> I ordered the wings and I have to pick them up at 11.30 and it's about a 30, almost a 35 minute drive there. So, get moving. 1046, showered, shaved, laundry in the washer, and I'm out the door. I'll have to wait to get my propane filled up. I usually get them filled up right here at this Frank Lloyd Wright service center. Uh, but I, that, that'll take probably 10 minutes, and I really don't have that time right now. But I can hit it on the way back if I want to. minutes after 11. It says I have four minutes to get to the place to get the battery, <laughs> but that's pretty close to Buffalo Wild Wings. It's 11.32. It says I have 1.4 miles to go and to get to Buffalo Wild Wings, which is fine. I'm supposed to pick up at 11.30 and the last three times I went here to pick up, it's if I do at 11.30, they're not ready for about in between five and 10 more minutes. Well, I got in there and I had to wait almost 10 minutes for the food to get done and then they give it to me and Melissa had ordered a side salad because she doesn't want to do fries. And uh, I asked them if the salad was in there, and no, they had to go back and make the salad.
lunch is done. Crossing back into Minnesota right now. I have to stop off at Best Buy. Melissa had bought me a set of these Galaxy Buds, the earbuds, you know, for the phone. I absolutely hate them. So uh, they need to be returned. <laughs> so I'm bringing them back and then I'll head towards the farmhouse. Well, I stopped and filled up the, or had the 30 pound thing of propane filled up and then I stopped here at the post office and there's a letter and was a package so man it started to snow I messaged that to Melissa and she's getting her stuff finished up at work so she can get out of there It's about 6.30 at night now. After Melissa got home, I hung out with her for a little bit, but I want to get this battery in tonight so I remember what parts went where. <laughs> Is there a reason you shut the dogs out? Ah, uh, just that it's not warm in here, that was all. They can come in, I just don't, they didn't leave the door open, that's all. Yeah. I left moving the kennel in there. Oh, did you? Okay. His food. So we need to remember to. Uh... Yeah. But kind of that piece. Ah, uh, just just pushed aside. I've had to go up there so many times for running wires and oh. insulation and stuff. That that piece is just pushed over. Yeah, it just falls down in against the little nails that they have sitting on at an I angle. See. Yeah. Alrighty. You can stick around and chat. That's okay, it's cold. Well, just like with the Grizzly, put the new battery in and it fired right off. So uh, it's going to be getting colder here over the next few days. So I'll definitely come out and try the Honda and try the Grizzly again. But I'm hoping that that'll fix any more problems. Well, it's actually the following. My last video clip, I was coming in from the workshop. Now it is the following day, about the same time at night. So uh, today what I did inside the house, you know, we had just thrown out the Christmas tree. So I got all the Christmas stuff put away. Melissa was at work uh, and just cleaned up. You know, after Christmas, everything is such a wreck. And this is all we got for snow, about an inch. Talked to my mom, they got about four inches down there and today and two inches the night before. So they got about six inches and we got just pretty much nothing. It got to 35 degrees today, which is just ridiculous. It's the middle of January. And then the snow and ice start to slide off of the metal roof over the garage. And as you can see here, it creates this bump and uh, it gets bigger and bigger. Right now it's still 33 degrees out. Uh, for the until, let's see, today is Friday until next Wednesday, it'll be below freezing. So I need to take the four-wheeler and push this out of the way 
Otherwise, you try to get in the garage, and with Melissa's two-wheel drive truck, it'll probably get hung up on that. Four eggs today, that's not so bad. For Christmas, Melissa got me, this is just a few of the things that I have to bring out to the workshop, but this is a little carving kit. And they give you a little block of wood to carve a spoon. It's actually some pretty wood, whatever it is. And it has a little carving tools. I haven't really looked at it yet. A little leather piece for sharpening them. With me being gone in Louisiana, Christmas really didn't seem like Christmas. It really hasn't seemed much like Christmas since uh, my dad went in for and had that operation because we didn't have a Christmas that year. And then it's been, has it been two years now? I think it was two years this Christmas. And then this Christmas we couldn't have anything because the whole COVID crap going on. So yeah, it just hasn't been the same. And of course this year I wasn't down here and everything, but one thing that she got me was a set of these for my lathe. I have the lathe, but I can't use it because I didn't have any, any of the things needed to use it. So this is the one thing that I asked for for Christmas and forgot all about it and I got it so I'm pretty excited about that.
I know Zachary just posted a video on Joe and Zach's survival, the final one of him finishing off his garage. And that turned out pretty nice. You know, he's got the heater in there and everything now. And in that video, I think he's pretty much almost done with the snowmobiles. And then he's going to come down or come up and grab this. I suppose he'll drop off the snowmobile, grab this and bring it back. And then he'll start working on this to see if it can be fixed or what. But like I told you guys, I don't know if it was this video or whatever, but this thing just started right up the other day when I was having trouble with all the other ones. out here and start the wood stove. I don't know. I don't really have anything planned to do out here, but I imagine I'll make it out here eventually. And right now it is 29 degrees outside and 32 degrees in here. I'm not really sure what she's cooking here, but I know it's going to be on as the rooster crows. Well, it's warmed up to 40 degrees in here. like linseed oil. Why does it smell 
bacon grease for this. Do you have some in your thing there? Yeah. yeah. Used up all my bacon grease that I accumulated yesterday. <laughs> It smells good in that house. It's up to 56 degrees in here. I think I'm going to cut this knot out of here. I mean, I'll be fighting it the whole time and I'm just playing around right now, so. I think I'm going to run inside and see how lunch is coming along. Well, I hung out with Melissa for a couple hours after lunch. Now Joni and I come back out here to the workshop. Play around a little bit more on the way. the tools in this set have more of an inward and I need to get some of them that have the outward so I can go in. I like to do these and then have like a, you know, just, I don't know what you would call it, <laughs> but uh, I'm just working with what I have here for these tools and I'll have to get a, a different set for the other ones. I also would like to have one of these that's big like this that has a little bit of an angle and it's sharp so you can take down more stuff at one time. I think with this lathe, you know, this is the first time I've used it, uh, I think that something needs to be aligned like, I don't know, when I look at this side, metal on metal, it looks pretty even, but when I look here, there's more showing here than there is right here. It's like it needs to do this, because after this much time, when I go against there, it's still, and it shouldn't be. After this much grinding, it should just be smooth all the way through. And I don't know, it seems better down here, but, uh, I don't know, I just have to look up and see um, if these need aligning or what. Like I said, it's been so long since I used one. The other one that I had wasn't like this. It was a much cheaper version, but brand new. And I, did, I made it through the one project, and then like this thing here, the metal here broke. And, uh, but it served its purpose.
while I went in and looked it up and it told how to see how aligned your lathe is. It's about as lined up as it can get. <laughs> the one that they showed online was off some and this one is right on so maybe it's just the wood. They had the wrong piece in this end of the lathe. They had this one in there. So when the wood hits against here, it had to just spin against it. The one that I put in here, I forgot that I bought new ones. And this one here, I'll show you. This one here, see, spins on its own. It's a bearing. Where this one wasn't, just friction down the wood. So. That, and, and when I tightened it down, it, would, it was hard to first turn on. So now it, when I, no matter how hard I tighten it, it still uh, did real well starting up. As I'm working on this, smoke would be coming out of here just faintly. And uh, I remember when I bought this, the guy, I mean, he had all kinds of crap. Tools, you know, things like this that he collected. He had a great big one of these that I think was for metal. Anyway, I think that he told me that he made this, whatever you want to call it, this stand. And this motor, this electric motor gets hot. And he's got two pieces of wood up here that are concave that the motor sits up against and then these metal bands that screw it up tight. I'm guessing that he made this, everything works great, but he never had to use it or didn't use it much at all for any period of time. So that, I don't know, I could drop that down. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I mean, it worked fine, nothing started on fire, but I kept waiting for some flames to start popping out. And this was fun just to play around with cedar. It's real soft, so it's hard to get real smooth, but it was fun. Well, I think I'm going to run inside. I want to take a shower, spend a little time with Melissa. Sven Gulli is on tonight, and it's uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon. So I want to watch a little bit of that. You ready to go in and have some supper? Mama put your food in your bowl already. Well, Creature from the Black Lagoon just got finished, and now Star Trek the original series is on. Melissa did the lunch today, and then after that, this afternoon, she canned some cranberries. Good morning, everybody. It's 19 degrees out. I think I'll start the stove in the workshop here. Eventually, I'm sure I'll find something to do out here.
Well, it's 35 degrees in here right now, but it's almost 11 o'clock, so I'm going to let this warm up until after lunch. I want to come out and see if this ice auger starts and go through some fishing stuff. Zach and I were talking. I think we're going to do some ice fishing pretty quick, uh, but I'm not sure when he can go. I might have time to go. I don't know. It's going to be really cold this week, but anyway, I want to get go through this stuff, so it's ready if I decide to go. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. I had big plan. I spent a lot of today with Melissa because uh, today is Sunday. Next, for sure, by Saturday morning. I don't know if she'll have to leave on Friday because it sounds like we're going to get some snowstorms coming through from Minnesota all the way down through Iowa and even into Missouri right now. It looks like they're going to be getting some snow next, like, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday. So we kind of have to watch that. Ah, uh, but I wanted, so I spent a lot of time with her today because I got, you know, back last Sunday, um, have been here like now it's been a week and now at the end of this week she's leaving and she'll be gone for, you know, 10 days, two weeks, whatever. So I didn't get out here to do a whole lot, but my plan of course was to drain the gas in this, uh, mix up a new gas mixture, it takes 24 to 1, put it in and fire it up and see if it works. Well. I got a quart of gas, which means I would have to uh, put in 1.375 ounces of oil to make uh, 24 to 1. So I went in the other, first I looked all over in here because I've got like nine quarts of oil in here for the tractor and I probably got a dozen in the garage and I knew I had one quart bottle of oil mixture that you would mix in with the gas and I looked at it and it's for a four cycle motor. So I went inside, looked it up online, and no, do not use four-cycle mix in a two-cycle motor because a four-cycle motor does have some oil in the crankcase and whatever it said. And I said I would fry the motor. So I looked everywhere. I don't. I don't have any. So uh, I have to go into town early tomorrow. We've got a load of stuff to pick up from Walmart. Between 8 and 9 is my window to pick it up. And I'll have to stop somewhere and get some... Uh, two cycle oil to mix so I can do what I was going to do and see if this thing fires up because I really do want to get out ice fishing soon. Looks like we have some light snow falling out there now. everybody doing in here? Just seeing if it's time for the crock pot for you guys or not. <laughs> Looks like I got four eggs. I'm doing good. <laughs> I will see you guys on the next video.